Shamai, welcome. Um, I'm joined today with Christian uh, Rotzel. Uh, Rotzel, sorry, Christian. How do you pronounce your surname? Rutzel. Uh, no, sure. It's, it's, it's my nickname, Rutzel. <laughs> Rutzel. Rutzel. Okay, Rutzel. Um, Christian Rutzel, who's the lead developer of um, the Raspberry Blitz, um, uh, and he's been working on it for the, the past year very, very hard. Uh, I've got a Blitz right here. This isn't actually working at the moment. I'm going to try and get it working. Um, I, I broke it by fiddling around with it, with it too much. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I'll, I'll get it working again. I'll do a tutorial on that. Um, so I thought it'd be a good idea to actually speak to Christian and then just uh, find out some background on, on where the Blitz came from and uh, uh, what he hopes for it for the future. And, and yeah, so uh, so Christian, uh, what what is the Blitz project and um, how did it start? Okay, so uh, first of all, let me show you the hardware again. So what you have out here is uh, you have a Raspberry Pi in a case. So it's a Raspberry Pi three. Uh, you have an LCD on the top, like uh, where you can see some status information and helps you on the setup. And you have uh, a one terabyte hard drive. So this is all kind of custom stuff you can order from Amazon. So on the GitHub, or the Recipe Blitz GitHub, you have all a shopping list that you can just go through, order all the parts, and you have kind of everything you need for your kind of weekend do-it-yourself project. And what you have in the end is a, is a Bitcoin full node uh, that's, that's really running on your hardware, and you have a Lightning node uh, based on LND. And this gives you kind of a basic setup to get started with the Lightning network in a really kind of self-driven way. Run it from your home, run it from from your place. Yeah, I mean, what I'll do actually, if I if I um, um, if I actually get the GitHub up now, and then I'll quickly mm -hmm. show them the because uh, um, uh, what am I doing? Um, and make sure. Okay. You see my screen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Okay. Um, so, so this is this is the GitHub here, isn't it? Um, yeah, it looks, looks kind of good. Yeah. <laughs> there's a there's a fully working Blitz. Lovely. Mm -hmm. um, so, mm -hmm. And a really nice feature of the Blitz is the is the um, having the the, the 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 display, and you can just kind of keep an eye on it and make sure everything's running properly. That is a really a really nice feature feature of it, something I really quite like. Because mm -hmm. you often often when I walk past it, I just have a little peek and, and check on it. Yeah, and it really it really helps on the whole, on, on the setup process, and and it, and it really helps you, and then in the end to maintain your. Your, your your node running because you can always because you keep it after you set it up you have it running at your home and you just want sometimes to quick check it if if it's okay and if the status is okay or something is strange there yeah I mean there's there's so much documentation on here as well I mean I'll go through this when I do my tutorial but it, it really is you know very comprehensive a lot of hell of a lot of work's gone into yeah. but but I have to warn you this is still, this is still the old documentation it's a little bit behind the actual state of the of the project because we're now getting to version 1.0 release very close I hope so to run the next run the, the last tests now over the weekend and part now of my time is to rewrite documentation a bit to to make to to bring it back to their to the actual uh, kind of uh, features that is that are available with with re uh, release 1.0. Yeah, no, it's quite exciting time. Really, it must be very exciting for you because you've been working on this this release. I know for quite hard. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I had I had it was always the aspiration to get it out earlier out of the door, but always sometimes happens. There was something with L and D. What was was not that stable feeling like or something or Bitcoin had to be updated because of, of, of a bug or something. And then then OK, we wait for the next one. Oh, this feature is not working now. We have to wait for this. So it took some time to get get to a level where it feels at least OK to to release a 1.0. And of course, all those kind of ideas that people had that what should be in there and even from trying it out myself, connecting it to mobile wallets, connecting it to, to something browser plan plugins, all these lessons, you be think, oh, yeah, this should be in there. And it needs to be easy to get to get uh, the TLS cert and, and the macaroons and the easy way to transfer it somewhere. So all these kind of things, the basic things you really need to get started should be in there. So it took some time to get it all right. But I hopefully think we have we, we reached now a level uh, that, that is a good starting point to, for, for such a do-it-yourself and, and hacking project. Yeah, it's a hell of an achievement. It really is. Um, so, as a big project, the, the, what, what are some of the things which you found? Because it is a big project now, and um, like you say, it's had a lot of people contribute to it, which is fantastic. Um, uh, when we were in Leipzig for the Chaos Computer Congress, uh, seeing like all those, cause we, you, you were doing a workshop, and there was about thirty of the things 
on this table. <laughs> I think Peter Todd tweeted out, didn't he, Peter? I've yeah, never seen so many nodes in one place. Yeah, yeah and it's really the idea. And, and, and at the Chaos Communication Congress, we really had this workshop thing where we invited people to, to build these things together and set it up together. And it was really good experience for me to see um, how this, how people really uh, progress in this workshop and where still maybe some little stuff to tweak and, and to, to, to make it a little bit more easier or a little bit more understandable. And this is also the kind of stuff we will do tomorrow at, at Mainz in a meetup. Uh, so we will test kind of the, 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 very, the, the almost version 1.0, uh, kind of the last test to sit it together with people, setting it up together. And uh, when I at least get the feeling that we, we, that we that this process is running somewhat okay, uh, so I think we are we, we call it a, a version one release. Yeah, I know. So it's a very healthy way to kind of approach projects. Have those those sort of focus group uh, workshops where you can actually get instant feedback from people and visually see what how people are struggling. Or I mean, I, I honestly, I mean, I've, I've I've had like three of them running over the over the years and and uh, over the past year. And um, even from the very beginning, I found it very stable, and very uh, easy to 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 run and set up. Um, so I'm really looking forward to the to version one. I can't wait to see what's um yeah. So what's uh what's what's so obviously you know this is it's pretty much a year. So when did you start the the project? Oh, I think yeah, I have to pin down the exact date. But but we started with the kind of with the first uh, lightning hack day. There was this realization that uh, that we need to improve something. So after the first hack day, I kind of started to 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 work on the scripts. And for the second lightning hack day that we had in Berlin, there was this kind of really first kind of idea of 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 having the the recipe blitz. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so what? What would be uh, on the roadmap now going forward to next year? The, the one big event that happened is that uh, another full node, the Casa Hodl, is now um, uh, open sourced. It, it took, we waited, I waited for that a long time, and, we, yeah, that, I, I, yeah. and I even pushed a little bit for it. So I really, maybe I, I imagined that I at least was with the Raspi Blitz was a little bit apart to do to push Casa uh, early on to to know open source their code. At least I, I, I imagine I, I did a little bit part in there with with the Raspi Blitz. Um, so um, and. And they they do it in a very professional way. So say they have full time programmers there, do having a very similar hardware setup, no display, but very similar with a Raspberry Pi and, and a big hard drive. Um, and they have very good uh, web UI. Like you, you with the Raspberry Blitz, you, you you use a terminal to set it up and to to connect to it. That's not for everybody, uh, but it's, it, it's it's a good targeting for the more hacky hack, hacker crowd so for people that that knows that they know how to open a terminal and and to 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 work with it um and the casa already made it made, made this what people kind of want is like having a web ui to make it a little bit more easy to set it up like you would set up your maybe your alexa or, or your, your other home devices you have run at home to to give it a little bit more of that cons consumer experience and we really have to see how we maybe can can combine these projects and this will take a little bit of time on my side to, to, to play with it and, and to, to try it out uh, and, and really to see what they what they deliver because they have a little bit of different structure as far as I can could see already, like working with Docker and, and on, on the Raspberry Pi. And so we have to see how we maybe can get this together. To summarize the idea, if there will be a next version of, of Recipe Blitz, so like a major version, the goal is to make it a little bit more consumer friendly and to make it easier to to maintain your node over a longer time. Mm. Yeah, no, it'd be quite nice actually to, like you said, I mean, obviously having the screen, because as is screenless, and I kind of feel like that'd be something of a drawback you'd have to, I really like just glancing at it and seeing it in the corner of the room and seeing it working. Uh, so maybe maybe going for like uh, I know I've done some experimentation with some e-paper, but maybe a screen which just outputs something every now and then just to reassure you that it's still working and you can and you can put stuff on like a little e-paper display and then like say like building some sort of web UI would be fantastic. That'd be really good. Yeah, well, there's already uh, in the version one point zero. There's already the web UI called Ride the Lightning. Yeah, um, cool. And it's, it's you, but you have to activate it in the end in the service menu because it's more for testing it out at the moment, and it gives you already a kind of web interface um, and to really to try all the uh, LND RP calls out. I think there's a coverage of about the, well, almost eighty percent of all RP calls. You you can kind of, you have a web UI now, and, and it's a nice management 
um, the, uh, dashboard uh, that you can really use to, to to get in all the details of the of, of what L and D is delivering to you. Where Casa is a little bit more, as far as I I was seeing it, a little bit more reduced um, for just seeing if everything is working and and have some basic basic functionality in there. Um, but they also kind of start to progress there. So we really have to see if we can bring it together. What definitely missing at the moment with the Raspberry Blitz at the moment is really having the setup uh, process in a, in a web UI. This is a bit of the Raspberry Blitz. You have the terminal in the beginning, you SSH in. It, it's a little bit more nice because you have like a little bit like the dialogues you can go yeah, through. There's a, menu. there's a menu. It's pretty straightforward. Right. Uh, what's so, so you don't have to remember all the commands. You have to really start with one command. You SSH in, and from there it, it takes you in an, also in a, in, a, in a dialogue way through it. But even this SSH thing is something that uh, some people not that keen on and really like to to just have it all in the web browser. But I really have to see. I, li I liked that we started with, with with the terminal thing because this attracted a little bit more the hacky crowd, and this, these are the people that are now gathered on the GitHub to, to yeah. contribute. And this is the audience I wanted to target with a little bit more with the with the Raspberry Blitz because what you have to keep in mind it's very early on tech. It's open source. It uh, it's it's for people that at least have some experience uh, to 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 to, to or even to work through issues. And and if you if you present it like Casa, you already have these people really just seeing it from a consumer perspective, and they are already totally lost when when something is not working working correctly. Yeah, that's true. And you've now got this great community of because um, I've seen you know I've seen some of the, the contributions on on the GitHub, and there's some there's some great people working on it, mm -hmm. um, uh, and they've offered us some excellent suggestions as well. So now so you've got that community behind behind the project now, which is great. And it has built momentum as well over the past year. You, you, you could see that on the side checking on the GitHub, and you, you could see to begin with it was, it was pretty much just you, wasn't it? And then um, and then a few comments popping up, and like now it's getting quite popular. It's great. Yeah, I'm a little bit kind of a little bit proud on it. So it's kind of first open source project. I, I worked on open pro open source project before, even in a little bit more professional way. But this is really this feels like the project that had had the most dynamic and and most vibrant crowd that is really uh, excited about what what is happening there and is really tightly monitoring what's what's going on and trying stuff out, reporting back, helping each other on 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 the GitHub issues. I really like this experience and I really enjoyed it. So. Um, Thanks for everybody being there. If you're watching this, <laughs> nice. Um, uh, yeah, no. I mean, I, some of the things I want to do is I want to try and get my. So obviously, I've been working on these little um, microcontrollers. Yeah. I want to kind of get these guys because I, I use a lot of custodial services. Because mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, I have my Blitz and uh, my Node running, but I don't. I don't directly interface with it. I just I find it easy just to use some of it. And it, for what I'm using it for, I always know that I could switch if I needed to. Um, uh, but I would like to get. All my projects kind of running because um, they're not all currently running um, on 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 um, uh, interfacing you know with the blitz um, and they've got some other projects as well like so one of the things you can do with these guys is you can make um, uh, mesh networks so mm -hmm. I quite like to get like a couple of blitz and then try and get them to talk to each other through kind of a mesh network of VSP thirty two right. okay <laughs> sounds sounds in Interesting. So really, you have uh, missing a little bit now the, the, the bigger picture, but uh, yeah. But this is exactly where why why this recipe blitz project is out there, so that you can that you are very freely can experiment with what we what we have there and try to think in this home setup situation, not ru not ru just running your node on some some uh, Amazon infrastructure and and yeah, it's a decentralization is happening and you have full control if you really have have it running at your home. And I think this is the vision everybody likes to to tinker with and i hope the recipe blitz is a good platform for this to to do so uh but i think i mean when you think where we were you know a year ago to see the the accessibility now we have it's so much easier to i mean your your project's fantastic you just you, you flash a, an sd card you get the hardware you know and then you just stick it in and then it just talks you through it um, the the only thing we have to keep and warn about is it takes time. It's a kind of a over a weekend uh, a project at the moment because yeah, and then you have to download the blockchain at some point and all this stuff. So it's good to have maybe set it up. Then you see it's running. Okay, then you can go for a beer or for for a good evening with a friend. Then you come back, you check again what what's the progress. So 
you just to get to, to, to keep your hopes not too quickly up. It's not something you do in one hour. Maybe in a workshop where everything is prepared for you and, and so, there may be. But if you do it at home, like ordering the parts on Amazon, downloading all the stuff, this is a kind of over the weekend project. It's the, it's the download of the blockchain, which is the bit which takes takes time, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff. So so um, the downloading thing in the beginning is is, uh, is is a great part to wait for. Like some people say the torrent, even if they're good, I think they're good seeded at the moment. Um, the torrent downloading takes, takes some time. Some people waiting even more than a day for it. I hope this gets not too long, but um, uh, and then there's uh, even after you got the down uh, the, the blockchain, it needs to do some catch up and even this catch up can take some time. Then L and D needs to scan uh, through uh, when, when you set up the wallet after that, or the L and D needs to do some scanning on, on the blockchain. This takes some time, but then sometimes finally you there. So <laughs> no, I mean, it's quite cool when I set up mine, you, 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 it gives you good feedback. So, you know, you, 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 at not one point you sort of look at it and think it's died. Um, yeah, I, this is this is what I tried at least. On on the GitHub, of course, you find people that run into situations uh, where where it a little bit behaves still that way. Uh, but this is exactly what I tried over the last weeks, like get, getting into those little situations and try to at least give some feedback how to how to process or what's going on there. Yeah, it should be something. Take a little bit of your time. Uh, you can make some good readings while or watch tutorials uh, yeah. while while you while you're doing it. So um, yeah, and but then you should be kind of good. It's good to give it a shot over a weekend, and then you look where you are, and if you say, "Oh come on, this is not working for me," maybe wait a half a year, or or you maybe you decide to run something like a Casa node that comes a little bit more from from the consumer, uh, having ready having it set up ready when you order it. But I mean, one of the other benefits of your project is it's cheap, isn't it? I mean, you're you're. You you just you just need the, the Raspberry Pi and the I mean these these little screens they're they're really cheap aren't they Yeah, it's cheap like twenty euros something. Yeah, yeah. So and it's a universal kind of hardware. So um, even if you if you decide not to to run a Lightning node after that, you have a Raspberry Pi, uh, you have an LCD and a hard drive. You can do everything with it. So so it's not it's just not that you're investing into something and then after that it's 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 it's, it's useless. So if if you don't decide to proceed. Sort of eighty pounds, I guess. You know, pretty much. I think everything with case and cables and SD card and all the stuff you get around hundred twenty euros when you order it on on Amazon. Of course, you could could try to to to. That's with make... a terabyte. That's with a terabyte hard drive, though, isn't it? You could have a five hundred gigabyte hard drive. Yeah, you could go go down to five hundred, but I think even the best price point, you say, I think you pay some kind of ten euros more and you get double the capacity. So I think from the part from the price point, it's 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 a little bit more. Uh, it's it's kind of best advice where where to go and even a little bit future proof. So with to one terabyte, you have enough to be to have your node running chain for for. A lot, a lot of years, so um, and and of course you can even go up in in, in, in the price. Like for example, the uh, there's another full node project, uh, the Noddle, and they start with uh, with an SSD drive and have a, a rock. I think the Rock 64 uh, single board computer instead of the Raspberry Pi that is that that is powerful enough to sync the blockchain completely by itself. So if you a little bit more on that camp that you really want to make sure to, to, to verify everything yourself, mm -hmm. um, then you can spend more kind of uh, on it and uh, and have more power and all the stuff. But th the idea was to get it really to find the, ch the cheapest price points uh, where this is possible to do so. Yeah. I think it's stability as well as a platform like the Raspberry Pi is, is just, it, it's, it's so well used, isn't it? I mean, it's, 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 um, it's, it's such a, a stable platform. Um, and there's, there's so many resources out there as well for so if people want to break out and they want to make things with their with their blitz. There's 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 a whole load of resources on how to interact with the GPIOs and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, mm -hmm. where, whereas what's what's the name of the board which the the Noddle uses? I think the the Noddle is running on the Rock 64. I have uh, cool. as far as I, as I remember. Or it's fast and it's, it's cool, but the trade off would be that um, it's a little bit harder to engage with the the hardware. I imagine. Um, because uh, there's so many resources out there for, for Pi stuff, isn't there? Um, yeah, that, that's that's exactly the point. Pi is a good starting platform because a lot of people have pre knowledge on it, and it's very much resources on there on 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 the web, and even a lot of shops providing support stuff for it. So it's I think it's kind of the best tried out platform. And and with the Raspberry Pi three, I think it, it reached a level of power of powerfulness that's enough to to really have a full node running, a lightning and a, and a Bitcoin full node. 
if you, you could try even a Raspberry 2 or something, but I would not have really advise this going going be, be, uh, below a, a Raspberry Pi 3. Can also maybe run, but I but but they we we it really yeah, gets slow. Yeah, it no, really I, gets I got, too slow. I I got all the pies, and the, the 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 difference between the two and the two and three is is quite substantial. Yeah. And and they're really kind of hoping for the Raspberry Pi four, so that 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 may be then the the, the breakthrough where we really can sync the blockchain really by by itself from the beginning. That would be great. So because downloading the blockchain is not the not 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 the best way to do it. It's more like something improvised so that that it could, it's possible now. But we want to, in the in the end, it would be nice to see really something that can zoom from itself and doesn't need to, uh, a prepared blockchain to to start with in the beginning. No, I'm sure that'll happen because it's uh, everything's coming down so much in prices and all these electronics are so much cheaper than they were. Yeah, this this is just a matter of time, so we would get there. Yeah, yeah, we've got time. Um, uh, so I mean, I. I've been to it. So how many of the lightning events have you run? That's like three or four, isn't it? Uh, in Berlin, we had uh, it was three lightning hack days, and then we had the one in New York, and then we did some small just lightning meetings uh, to to for on some special topics like mobile wallets or something. So um, yeah, it was at least some 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 nice set. And then of course there was the Chaos Communication Congress. Uh, end of last year, what is also what was not a lightning hackathon or a lightning event, but it was uh, the Bitcoin assembly where lightning was a, was of course a big topic and and to to familiarize and let people exchange on it and then try it out. Yeah, so you're quite involved. Um, uh, obviously, living in Berlin, you're quite involved in the chaos, chaos communication uh, 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 club, aren't you? Yeah, in, in, in the landscape, I, I'm I'm not personally from the Chaos Computer Club, so please please don't uh, don't put me uh, to overstate my my role there. Um, I'm, I'm more like in this case community uh, and and visiting the events for a long time and having Bitcoin as as, as one passion topic there. Um, very a long time involved in the Bitcoin Assembly organization. Um, so it's it's more like being from this. I really like this person. I like this community, and uh, and I always like to con contribute to that community on th such events. Um, yeah, and then Bitcoin. It, it's it's a special uh, topic there because um, of course there's people with a lot of knowledge, and, it, and and there comes also a lot of criticism on Bitcoin. That's for sure, uh, uh, oh, valid. So, because I when I because I was there obviously in Leipzig for a few days, I didn't go for the full thing, um, and uh, I found that when I had conversations with people, and they said, "Oh, you know," and I said that I was pretty prime, prime primarily um, with the with the with you lot with the Bitcoin mm -hmm. lot. Um, uh, you know, some of the criticisms they had for Bitcoin, were, you know, they were they were good, they were good, good, good arguments, good criticism. I mean, they're they're they're, they're, they're technologists, aren't they? So they kind of know what they're talking about, and yes. Um, uh, but no, I thought I'd, as 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 a specter, I I because you urged me to go there. I didn't really I know. want to go. But you <laughs> twisted my arm when you said, and I was like, oh no, I got my boy. I'm not gonna be able to come. You were like, no, bring the boy, bring the boy. I thought, ah, I thought, okay, it might be a good jolly. Then you kind of really twist my arm. But then when I got there, I was like, bloody hell! I can see, I can see why you encouraged. Because I, the things I really liked about the lightning hack days were the the making parts and everyone kind of getting their hands dirty and actually building stuff and then coming out. After a few days with with projects, working projects which could be taken forward and people could use and, and find useful, um, uh, and uh, I think you could see that. And and then by encouraging me to go to go to, I mean, there it's it's like that on steroids. And you've got it's just an incredible place. How many thousands of people as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's really growing. I think fifty thousand was the numbers. Not exactly sure, but around this size, uh, the last event. Yeah, and it was. You have it, it's just, there's normally this is a space in Leipzig now. That is usually used for industrial fa uh, fairs, like where where they uh, and, and they we now now kind of own this place uh, for 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 the time. So it's like um, it's like four massive aircraft hangars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can imagine a little bit like that. Yeah, from, then, from the size of it. Yeah, <laughs> like um, a greenhouse domey thing in the middle, which is warm, so you can walk around with your you just your t shirt on, which is quite nice in the middle of winter. Um, yeah. Because uh, we spent a day there, and I was like, I was, I walked around the hall. We got there really early, and we left there really late. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. And then I was like, because we were, we were in hall two, so I was like, oh. And as we were walking out, I was like, oh shit, hall one. And I thought, okay, this is <laughs> two because there's another hall. And I went over there. It's just big, and there was even more stuff. It was amazing. 
Yeah, no, and it's, it's really, we, it, this is just for some days, we built up this crazy utopian space and uh, everybody enjoys this. And it is very interesting really to see because Bitcoin is not kind of, everybody's not there, yeah, Bitcoin. It's more like, I think, especially last year when all this hype was happening commercially and all the price was going up and everybody was talking about Lambos and, and being a billionaire or whatever, it, a lot pissed a lot of people off. Uh, off because we can't get annoyed by it because uh, it, it was such a get rich quick thing uh, in um, f uh, feeling wow. so for a lot of people that it's not um, it's not working with with the hacker vibe of, of building some alternative technology and and, and concepts for for a sustainable society um, and of, of course the the energy question uh, and all the stuff so there's a lot of stuff that um that, 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 that it's still in criticism as as we were discussing but and this is something we see is, is it's part of this community even if it's not maybe the center of this community so yeah. Um, so it's good to be around and to get the exchange with people there and, and, and especially to exchange on the technology side and, and, and possibilities. Yeah, I mean, it's um, uh, it's like the, the, the lightning events when we went to the, the, the hack days. I mean, I didn't hear anyone talk about price. You know, it's, it's the, 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 the thing furthest from people's minds is that they're there for the technology, they're there to build stuff. Um, and I can imagine that it would have given... Uh, for someone who's just kind of got a superficial understanding of what Bitcoin is, all the all the hype which had happened last year, I, I can imagine it pissing them off actually, because um, uh, yeah, they're, they're the source to, to to get annoyed by something like that, um, uh, and just justifiably as well. Um, but no, it was it was uh, it, it was wonderful. I mean, and thank you as well for your because obviously you're you're doing great work then as our as our liaison officer, <laughs> interacting with the the, great, the the wider hacker community. And Bill, I mean, Germany has a a, a large hacker community doesn't it yeah it's cultivated over the time so um and it's really in this it really, as, as you were seeing this this events are growing organically so um yeah this is of course digitalization of of, of, of society uh, drove more and more people into the space in the beginning it was really people like really really just a bunch of tech nerds um and and but now it really starts to grow grow even to the outsides of of uh, digital um culture and but of course every time technical technology focused um uh, event yeah i mean it, 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 it's, it's just nice because you've obviously got lots of people there in different disciplines you've got some guys who are into 3d printers some people into microcontrollers some people are into i don't know um uh, uh, sound stuff and robots and uh, but obviously when you it's the magic happens when you start smashing different like genres and, and uh, stuff, different technologies together. That's when you end up with new innovation, isn't it? When you, um, uh, so so it was nice to see those 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 groups of people who probably like we as Bitcoiners. I mean, we generally don't interact with. You know, I don't really interact with pe people who are into robotics very often, um, and, and their community, I imagine, is really strong. And, and uh, so it's good to kind of have that space where you can interact and look at each other's projects and see what people are doing. Yeah, and this, it's inspiration. A lot of people were, were watching at these little devices running at, at our table. And even if they're not interested into Bitcoin, they were seeing, oh, it's very nice to put something together like this to run at home now. So, oh, a little display there, Raspberry Pi, a hard drive. Oh, yeah, right. Because the idea were, were running some infrastructure at your home and being a kind of autonomous it's an old idea, so and people tried this before and they're doing this with other software, and so it's always nice, even if the people are not interested in Lightning, they they see, oh, but it's a nice setup. I can use this maybe for something else. So and this is absolutely fine and, and good to have this exchange. Yeah, no, I know, and it's a great it's a great place for it. Uh, when you look on the the one of those node maps, you always see that Germany has a lot of nodes. Uh, <laughs> I, I saw so, yeah. <laughs> you've seen that? It's incredible. Um, so what, why do you think that is? Why do you think Germany has like a, um, a strong sort of Bitcoin scene? Do you think it's that hacker scene which was there or? Yeah, yeah it, it really it's cultivated over, I think it's, it really started around uh, 1984. <laughs> so at least also from 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 the time from when the first Congress was, it was kind of, you could feel there was something growing there. And uh, yeah, this is this. I don't know exactly why Germany. So it's okay. I don't have a good answer for that. But um, but I think it was. It started in the beginning from from really people organizing in an alternative way and having a home to go there. Like or because the the, the case communication club is is, is 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 not kind of a top down thing. It's really based on a lot of regional 
parts that have their own exchange groups of, of experience and and think I think this cultivated a lot and even also doing building hacker spaces was a movement I think that started ten years or something ago. Um, well, um, at, the, at, the, at the Congress it is very kind of like anarcho syndicalist, isn't it? Like you've each got just your own space and then you build it and it's it's there's no real top down organization. Um, although I did get told off because I, I had my camera and I was filming loads. <laughs> And then this guy, one of the organizers, came over and he was, he was pretty angry. He was like, you can't do that here. Yeah. I'm like, oh, sorry. And he said, he's like, no, you've got people in shot. You can't have people in shot. And then and then I kind of felt like a bit put out. I was like, yeah, man, that guy was a dick. Like, I should have been able to film. And then I thought about it for a little while. And I thought, no, wait there. He's right. I'm wrong. Like, <laughs> this idea that I can just go around just filming people and taking photos of people and just taking away people's privacy without having any consent there. It is wrong. It's, it's, and it was nice. To, and then I looked around, there's no one else with cameras there. And you think, this is a really safe space. Like, um, And it's funny because I remember before I went, I was trying to find videos and things on it about, on YouTube, and I couldn't find anything. That's probably why. <laughs> Uh, there's a nice documentation now uh, called "All Creatures Welcome," um, and it, it's 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 from a uh, filmmaking crew that that was especially following all the rules, like just film with consent and all the stuff. So, and it put together a, a good good nice impression. So, if you want to get a feeling, uh, if you're just wondering what we're we'll talking about and why we so long talking about it, watch this documentation. All creatures welcome. Uh, it's now it's it's available online, and it should give you a good idea of what's happening at this at these events. And the idea of the lightning hack day was was also a little bit to bring this can do and experiment. Um, um, attitude and, and and experience a little bit to the to the Bitcoin community when it, about around Lightning because we were also a little bit tired of all these conferences as we're just talking about schemes and and and, and, and company presentations and, and uh, yeah we wanted to to build stuff again and yeah Lightning allows us this now again so. no no I, I honestly truly thought it was fantastic about the the, the hack days because I, I went when I um, Honey Badge is obviously a really good, good one. Is a good conference to go to. When I was there, I was really like, you know, missing the 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 the, the Berlin hack, the, the lightning hack days. Um, uh, and it, at the time, you kind of think because it's a bit chaotic because you got some people trying to hack and then you got some people doing talks and stuff. So you're kind of like, and you feel like maybe everyone should just concentrate on this person who's talking about this really interesting, important thing. And these people or or, or go over here and hack like <laughs> do one thing or the other. But actually, I can totally see why he did it. Uh, for the hat days because it really does kind of bring that maker um, uh, uh, creative spirit into the room um, and then it, it gives people who want to build stuff an, an opportunity to go off and build stuff and inspire to inspire people to build stuff I mean I, I would say that any good conference worth its salt really nowadays should have kind of a, a corner where people can have be hacking on stuff and building things, and and I really can can uh, coming back to recipe blitz. I really can uh, advise people if you set up kind of own events uh, at, at your kind of place. It's good to have something to bring uh, some some hardware to the event and really sit down with people and and then try to set it up together. Uh, it really gives you something to talk about. And the good thing about the recipe blitz is because there's so some waiting time in, in between when, when it's downloading the blockchain or scanning the blockchain, or whatever. Yeah, you have time enough to talk with people and, and, and maybe join a, a something, a session that's going on somewhere else. And then you come back later on, see how you know what it's doing. And, and this gives you a good thing to, to enter the space. And, and, and after, when you're done, you take something home that's then kind of your thing to, to run and, and further experiment on. Yeah, well, you know, thanks, thanks, thanks for organising those and Fulmo as well. And um, these, uh, um, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks to you both for all for all the organisation you've done. That. It's done the community Thank you. so much good, really has. Sure. Enjoyed um, the last year totally. <laughs> so, uh, so what what's uh, what about future sort of Ellen Hack days? I know Fulmo. I mean, the last time I saw him, he looked pretty tired. I think that the spark that we wanted to push forward, it's not just us, but we wanted to to help spark this. And uh, I think we did our our sparking well, and at least for, for the German area. And, and now we really have to see where it's kind of settling down. Um, and also, and this was also the idea of Fulmo a little bit, also being a research startup where we want to see 
maybe what then we can uh, um, pursue a little bit more in a professional way to maybe see where is a where's at least a little business model or something so that we can make it a little bit more sustainable for the future this is all all now in figuring out mode so um and of course i think we will do a lightning hack day again but we don't have any dates at the moment uh but but we will let you know as, as soon as we have some i'm very disappointed no i no i i, I totally understand and i think it's in Highly, uh, you know, uh, reasonable that um, that to, to to try and make some sort of sustainable um, uh, business or company or something which can bring in some revenue. Because I know, you know, it must the events which have been held must have must have cost must have cost a, a fair penny, and you know they they're all very cheap. You know, it's like you know five five euros or something on a, a lightning payment for the for the event. So um, again, you know, something we all really appreciate. Um, so well there we are well fantastic thank you christian for for, for speaking to me i'm gonna do a, a tutorial on setting one of these up please please let, let me know how to connect with an esp32 uh on it uh or this is the esp32 that you're using right yeah it is yeah that's the that's the esp so yeah. i to get this bad boy set up. so I, first i'll do like a tutorial on setting this up um because i don't is there any video tutorials setting one of these up yet Mm, I think there are some. I saw some on the on the web, but I think there are a little bit with the old versions. It's it's still similar, but but I think um, now it will get interesting once the version one point zero is out. I hope it can. It's just a matter of days. Go on, stay with me. Um, it, I think at this point it would make sense to have more video tutorials that really covers how, like the state, uh, the, the state of state in in the in the end. But but I think you find something on 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 the YouTube if you search for it. So so remind me when is when is version one coming out now? So I hope to test it now just this week in, in the last workshop. From that experience, uh, I will do the overwork, the documentation. And I hope that we have at least mid of the month, latest end of the month, really, just if there's some delay. Um, we have to we have it, we will have it out. So and I hope that it's then the good of, uh, of course, if there's little improvements coming up, there may be some, some minor versions releases after that. But I think then we will kind of see um uh, where, where, where we want to make the next development jump seeing what what casa hodl is, is providing see what 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 ideas we have in stack how we can combine it and make kind of the best best breed of of, of all if it's possible wow that's absolutely fantastic well thanks again christian um and uh um i'll see you soon i'll hopefully be over to berlin say hello soon um, hope so i hope to see you back in germany again <laughs> oh, so, no, i want to go to the there's the there's the um the the camp isn't it the summer camp thing sure yeah there's it from the chaos communication uh, uh congress there's it, it's always end of the year every four years there's also a camp so where mid of the year about august where everybody uh builds up tents and 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 trailers and we build a whole kind of city out of nowhere um but i have to warn already uh, the tickets seem to be very very hard to get because it's kind Kind of limited it's not grow it's not growing much from the last year so um it's a little bit more for involved community i hope you will make it <laughs> but uh, but i just don't want to say to everybody in the audience or oh, join the camp to to, to for the oh, next no, it was honestly <laughs> i mean just get going to going to leipzig it was so hard we were because we, on the it was on one of the the um not the hack days one of the meetups on the uh, uh, lightning meets of meetups in berlin and we were all there with our laptops trying to get the tickets in the queue I mean, it was it was really difficult yeah, you really have to be on the spot on the date uh, to 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 shoot a ticket uh, to say, um, but um, yeah. So so the camp will be a little bit also not that easy maybe to just get a ticket. So it's not for the broader lightning community. Uh, yeah. You have to feel some kind of connection to to the chaos events already. So you joined uh, in Leipzig, and I think you perfectly fitted in from 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 your mindset. Uh, so for sure, I hope to see you back in uh, at, at the camp. So uh, in in summer. That'd be fantastic. Well, anyway, um, uh, uh, to everyone who's watched, thank you for watching, and uh, thanks, Christian, and uh, we look forward to seeing what the Blitz has to offer. Well, uh, version one, and then um, how the project will evolve in the next year. When you think how far we've come from the beginning of this year to to now, you know, God knows where we'll be this time next year. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, exciting times. Exciting times. <laughs> thanks, bye. All right. Bye.